Yo guys, what is going on? Sizer here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be looking over all the Shaker Cups that I've so far accumulated this year. So many people have been asking me for a Shaker, Shaker Cup update uh, for my collection. Uh, if you guys have not seen my collection, I will put a link uh, in, probably in the eye at the top right corner. Um, and that will take you to my 100 Shaker Cup collection video that I posted, I think, in November. Uh, it's been a couple months since then. We've accumulated a couple more Shakers. So... The first shaker that we have is the rug. The rug shaker came with, of course, the um, the chug rug collector's box. This one is actually made by uh, Wicked Shakers. Rug shaker. It's a nice translucent blue with the nice lime green. Uh, same with the cap. It has a green insert on the inside. It's a nice, nice shaker. Next up, we have the 2019 shaker of the year, the whiteboard shaker. This, of course, came with three markers and its own collector's box like the Keemstar Shaker. So that's really cool. Um, they don't make those anymore, but they sometimes restock them on the website. Next up, we have the Bank Shaker. This Bank Shaker sold out pretty quick, but um, there it is. I have I had a couple. I ended up giving them to friends and stuff, but yeah. Next up, we have these two, the St. Patrick's Day and the Mamba. They pretty much came out the same time. The Mamba, I think, is still in stock on the website as of right now as of the recording of this video uh and as for the saint patrick's day one i think that one's long gone but yeah both of these shakers really nice before i skip over it uh the bank shaker was made by wicked shakers looks like this one the whiteboard shaker was actually made by uh gamma labs like their own company so that's really cool because it has a whiteboard material on it the um saint patrick's day one was also made by wicked shakers along with the Mamba, made by Wicked Shakers. The Mamba one, I think, just has a purple insert on the inside, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just double check that real quick. It actually has a yellow insert on the inside, so that's nice. Um, yellow insert on the inside of that. Next up, we have the Hornet Shaker. I've been using the Shaker a lot. Um, this is mainly my go-to tall boy that I've been using and my main two regular shaker has been the powder puff, but we will go over that later on in the video. Of course, the Hornet, um, this is made by TQ. This was the first one of the new tall boys to come out. And then the claw and the rose, which came out at the same time were exclusive to the rewards page at first, but then they later were released on the, uh, website standalone by himself so here we are the claw and the rose shaker both really nice shakers both of them i think are made by tq and they are most of the tall boys are made by tq um but yeah two really nice shakers i remember the claw came out for earth day which was about a month ago and it sold out pretty quick and then the rose came out i think a week before that uh and that one sold out within a day or so Next up, we have the Dakota Shaker. The Dakota Shaker, really nice shaker. Probably one of the best shakers that we've had this year so far. Um, not much to really say about it. The insert is the same color as the cap. This nice baby light blue. Um, really nice shaker. Really nice design. This one made by Wicked Shakers, of course. Next up, we have the Dolphin Shaker. Um... This shaker is also really nice. This one came is actually restocked on the website, I think, right now. Made, again, by Wicked Shakers. I think that all the shakers so far this year have been either made by TQ or Wicked Shakers. And, yes, that is right. Um, this one inspired, of course, by the Miami Dolphins. I'm pretty sure their colors. So that's really cool. The Hornet is, of course, inspired by the Hornets. And then later on this year, we're going to be getting the Islander Shaker. Stay tuned to the channel for that unboxing and review. Uh, and that one will be coming out in about a month or so, maybe two. Um, but this one really nice. It's a nice translucent, um, like a teal almost with a nice orange cap. A lot of people were saying that it looks very similar to the, uh, Philly Philly shaker, which came out for the Eagles because they won the Super Bowl last year. And then this coming up here, we're going to be getting the Patriots shaker, but it's not, this one's a little bit lighter than the Philly Philly. So it's really nice. Next up, we have the Soar 2.0. A lot of people were really looking forward to the shaker uh, because of how fast the first Soar shaker sold out. This one actually sat on the website, though, for quite a while, but it did end up selling out, and it has not returned since. This one, of course, made by Wicked Shakers again. It's a nice, um, just solid white with their design on it with 
purple and white cap. And then the insert on the inside is the same color as the top. It's a nice purple color. Next up, we have the Powder Puff, probably one of the best shakers again this year besides the Dakotas. This one is just awesome. I love how it has the outline around the turbine and also around the G Fuel branding on the other side. I just love that red outline with the blue uh, main color for it. It's just really cool. And then the insert on the inside is the same color as this cap, a nice pink color. And then last but not least, we have the most recent shaker that has been released, which is the PewDiePie Glow in the Dark Tall Boy. This one being made by TQ, of course. Um, this one just super nice, super clean. I have a couple. I might do a giveaway later on this summer. Um, so stay tuned to the channel for that. But yeah, that is it. That is all my shakers that have accumulated since my last update on them. Yeah. So guys, that's just about to do it for the video. Hope you all did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next one.